Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which some of you may be, some of you may be super way back originals. Um, my name's Brianna and I'm going into my ninth year of teaching. So if you've been with me from like my first two years back with circus classroom theme setup, let me know in the comments. I've taken a while off of YouTube. I am teaching third grade this year and this will be my seventh year teaching third grade. I taught fourth grade for two years. Last year I taught a three, four combo, which is why I kind of fell off the face of the earth. Um, it was a trip, okay, but we made it through and I got a ton of goodies for classroom setup this year and I go back into my classroom tomorrow. So I thought I would get organized and go through all my things and wanted to share them with y'all. So I am going to, fingers crossed, be making classroom setup videos. So you'll find the full versions here. I'll put my TikTok down below. I'll do short little clips there or just things throughout the day. So you can follow me there as well. Let's just jump into it because I'm excited. It's been a minute. My classroom theme is like 70s retro, flowers, disco, smiley, you know, the the cool thing right now. And my colors were really pink, yellow, and like teal, but this lavender-ish purple, like I just had to bring it in. So I guess what started it all is when I saw this paper at Hobby Lobby. Let me tell you, I am a better than paper girl. This is just fade resistant acid free bulletin board paper from Hobby Lobby. It's, it's paper, but it's so cute and it's like subtle, but still brings in that checkered. So I don't know what I'm doing this with this yet. I don't know if I'm changing my boards. They're orange right now, but there's only two of them. So I can put this in other places. This kind of set me off on this purple journey. Okay. Honestly, it's probably my grandma speaking to me because it was her favorite color. Wow. I just thought of that and that's really special. Okay. So those are from Hobby Lobby. This is going all out of order. Michael's, um, it was on sale. You can never go wrong with a photo case. I put all my task cards in this. I have three of them already. So now I have four, but this is the best storage. If you don't use it for task cards, little center games or something, it just is such an easy way to organize everything. So got one of those. So this I'm not in love with, but I had this little side table from Five Below last year in my classroom, and if I have a picture, I'll post it here, where it sat next to my chair under my document camera. I taught from it every day. And at our Christmas party or holiday party, whatever, for some reason, one of my students just sat on it as if it were a stool and it broke. <sighs> and so for the remainder of the year, I just used a stool and it worked fine but I loved like just how it looked. So I couldn't find exactly what I wanted, <sighs> but I got this one at five below. It's like a teal flower, so it fits the vibe, but the other one I had was like teal and it had like rattan going across it, you know, like the, like the wicker almost. It was so cute, but this is what we're gonna stick with this year and That'll be okay. And then, oh, I also got these from Target. They're the magnetic labels that have blanks on them. I used to use these for lunch count. So the kids would come in and grab their magnet and move it to their lunch choice, whether they were a lunch box or whatever they wanted for the day. And then one of my other coworkers uses it also for when they like leave the room. So when they're pulled out for like EC services or speech or they're going to the bathroom or anything. And I just thought it was a simple way to have a visual of where the kids are at all times. And then if someone's in the bathroom too, like when we're not taking a class bathroom break, they can see, I don't know. I stopped doing lunch count for a while. Hagrid is making an appearance. <sighs> Haggy, are you saying hello? 
because I would just say the choices and have the kids raise their hand and put it in. But I think it's for the other aspect that I want to see where my kids are at all times. I don't know. I'll try it out this year. We'll see how it goes. I wanted the cute, not the rainbow ones from the dollar spot, but there were other ones. But my Target never had them. So from the Dollar Tree, I actually just got this today. So this is something that I haven't seen people talk about. And it's really hard for you to see, actually. Um, so my teacher toolbox sits on a bookshelf. And there's like an awkward amount of space next to it that's like this thick. Y'all, I could slide this in that spot. And this is a pencil holder. Like, that is, all right, that bottom one, I don't know if I would use. But the rest of them, oh my gosh, what is, yeah, the top and the bottom, I don't know. But the other three, like that's so smart for that space. So I picked that up at the dollar store. They have all the colors of their like theme this year, but I wanted it to match my toolbox, which is black. So I try to keep my bins, you know, behind my desk the same. Something else I got from Hobby Lobby, which I'm really sad about because I think I got coolant on it. Um, I don't know if you can see like the coffee stains. Oh, here's one. I think it's coolant. I don't really know, but it's the student of the week thing. And I think I might do like secret student and I don't really know how people actually do this, but my idea is to be watching one specific child all week or like find one kid throughout the week that has gone above and beyond and name them the student of the week and just have them take their picture and put it on dojo or whatever. This was only $3.99 and I think it was like 50 or 40% off. So it was like nothing. So it's fine. But I thought that was cute. And then maybe on Monday they can bring in like show and tell or something because kids love that. Off my Amazon wish list, my lovely friend Michelle, thank you Michelle, got me and my students. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny a new doorbell. So I've had a doorbell since probably my first year of teaching. This one comes with two, which I thought was pretty neat. I'm gonna see if I can set them to different sounds, I wonder. But I wanna put one outside my classroom so that we can ring it to be let in. And then I wanna put one inside my classroom and wear it on my lanyard. Because even though there are teachers that come on here and say like, don't buy a doorbell, it's a waste. Guys, this is like 15 bucks and I love it as an attention attention grabber. <laughs> then I wanna be really organized this year and this was a great deal. These are four one inch binders I got from Walmart for like 11 bucks. Y'all, one binder is almost $7. So this is a great deal. I should have bought like two sets of these almost. I might go pick up more, but I want to just get back organized last year was chaotic it's just because every day in a combo was different depending on what i was teaching so i want to make one with all my standards i want to make one we did for the past two years we did the letters training so i want to make one with i printed out like all of well i have the books too but all the like pre-assessments and just outlines and stuff like the letters basic spelling screener instead of using whatever one we used to use Jan Richardson maybe comprehension planning checklist let me know if you guys did letters I know everyone in North Carolina did but and just like different assessment things I just really enjoyed this and so instead of having to go back in my manual I just wanted the pages that I'm going to actually use in one space and like organize the way I want it. So I've printed those out. I bought myself 200 laminating sheets. I will link down below on my Amazon storefront which ones these are because they're not the expensive ones. They're not Scotch brand, but I literally laminated. Look, I'll show you. Because I'm trying to mix in U Fly with Letterland. So I literally, well, not that laminated all of these through the roll and reads just as a center 
I'm also going to slide them into, because I did it on regular paper, but I'm gonna slide them into a dry erase sleeve. But all that's laminated. It works great. So I'll link that laminate down below because no sense in buying name brand if that works just as well. Another random thing I bought, I, I don't know, a ribbon garland. It has, it actually brings all my colors together. I'm just realizing, so that's kind of perfect. I think I'll put this on my desk. I kind of want to put my name on my desk. Like I haven't done that before. So I should do that, right? I should do that. I think I got these baskets at Hobby Lobby in the past, but I got these at Michael's. But I'm very thankful because I'm trying to weed out like my old dollar store bins in my classroom library. And I have the blue version of these. So now I got four little pink ones. And then I also have the blue super tall ones where my like picture books are in. But they had these, which are like half the height. So I got the four pink in that as well. I have the Target pink baskets. Like here's my turn in bin. Um, but the ones that are like high in the back and low in the front, I do love those. I have those. So now I can put more pink in there. I love this supply caddy. I put whiteboards back here. And then, well, I have one at my small group table. It's white with sprinkles on it, throwback to donut ears. I think I'm gonna put this at the kids' writing center. So back here, I might put like their roll and read you fly stuff, whatever they're working on. And then just like expos and whatever they need for that in the front. And then to go along with that, I bought three of these bins. These are skinnier than the pink ones I have, but I have the black ones of this that I got from Target. These also have dividers. So this is a good way to store their center stuff as well. I don't know. I only bought three. I don't know why I didn't buy four. Maybe I was thinking three can fit across the shelf. I'm not sure, but come along my journey of classroom setup to see how I use these. And then at Hobby Lobby, I got this smiley face pillow because it's really cute. All my other pillows, I have a ton. I have flowers, I have checkered, I have all this stuff. They're in those garbage bags because I've washed them and now they're ready to go back to school for a new year. So I just thought that was really cute and had to get that. At the end of last year, I vowed to never buy these again. <laughs> but here we are yoga mats, specifically the ones from Five Below. They peel up very easily, or at least my students did not treat them kindly last year. However, they are their favorite spread out spot and they were really cute. So, and first of all, like, duh. There's a purple checkered one with green hearts. There's a pink checkered one with orange hearts. There's a floral one and then a swirly one. I need to come up with a system of putting these away because I think what was most annoying was how long it took the kids to roll these up and put them back. And besides the picking at them, they really enjoyed, when I when they do their independent work, I let them go to their spread out spots and they pick their spread out spot for the week based on their behavior. I literally just tossed my ones from last year. I had to buy new ones, okay? So I bought them. A couple other random things. This is from my friend's bachelorette party. It's from Hobby Lobby, but it says happy birthday. I'm not using that part of it, but just random board cutouts to put around my room somewhere. I got these at the dollar spot at a random time. They're little cases. They might be good for the hashtags, the little blocks that the kids use because they like to store them in separate colors. So maybe I can use them for that. I don't know. And then I ordered a bunch of random stuff off Timu a while ago for morning choice. I let my kids do not really like soft start, but they come in the morning. And so I guess the best routine I've found is they do their math morning work, which is four problems. And then I check it. And once it's all complete, as long as they don't have any unfinished work, then they can go make their morning choice. And I want to make my morning choice more like my spread out spots this year where they have to like put their name somewhere specific. So that might be another way I use those magnets. Okay, 
Sorry if the camera's a little bit different. Had to get all the videos off my memory card. So I was on Timu one day and a bunch of this random, just mindful morning stuff came up to like get the kids brains working. And I love these kinds of activities. So this one is a hand and brain challenge. It comes with markers and erasers and other things. I'm pretty sure you like trace this side and this side at the same time with your opposite hands. Then I got a huge multiplication table pop it. These are amazing for patterns and actually in North Carolina we have a standard on patterns. I don't know if it's common core but patterns in a multiplication table. This is great for kids to see their math facts, arrays, like everything you can see on them. And just the fact that it's a pop it makes it that much more exciting. And I like that it's a big version because I have one on all of their pencil boxes. Just the multiplication table is an amazing resource. These erasers that I got from Timu. I usually give my kids the makeup sponges from Dollar Tree, but these were cheaper. So shout out to Timu. Then there's this rope threading shape pair activity. And really what all of these things are, this is 36 months and up, that's hilarious. But it like gives you a pattern to follow. So I don't know if this is gonna be really dumb, but also it could be good for fine motor skills. And I can have the kids like time themselves or something, I don't know. Just random creative things. And then I got this pattern blocks kit, which I didn't realize was literally wooden pattern blocks. Um, but it comes with like some cards and stuff for things to build. You can make a game out of it. They were really, really cheap on Timu, so I thought, why not? These can be the pattern blocks for morning choice instead of our math manipulative ones. Okay, I believe that is everything that I've purchased for my classroom this year. I did not need any of these new things, but it's always exciting to. And overall, I don't think I spent that much money. Our PTO gives us like $150, I think. So if I give them my receipts, then this is basically paid for. But it's always nice to go like replace the old bins for like new sturdy ones that will literally last forever and just to have a more like seamless everything matches kind of ordeal you know so yeah while i was uploading everything from my memory card i found a ton of old videos literally from two years ago so maybe i'll go on an editing streak tonight but i hope y'all enjoyed get excited because a new year is coming new videos are coming and i'm glad to be back so I will see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.